Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the last three video, we have learned how we can make QR code generator, this kind of application using React. So in previous three video, we have learned how to design the layout, then how to generate QR code just like typing like this I say google dot com I click on this button it generate QR code here and I click on this then I download this image here click here and image is downloaded of QR code then in next video we have learned that when I click on this it open a file up file dialog and here I just select a file and it's display what we have hidden in this QR code so last three video we have learned this much of thing now in this video we are going to use webcam and on the basis of webcam we want to scan what we have written in this QR code for that we have to make a coding and I will use mobile phone also I will click image by using mobile phone from this and then I will turn my mobile phone toward the camera then it will display here the barcode which we have the value of the barcode so for that I have to use here in place of this image I have to use QR reader that I used in previous video also for scanning a QR code from a file so here I use QR reader for scanning a particular QR code from a file so I turn here legacy mode remember here now I have to disable this legacy mode and I have to say here false no need of this legacy mode it should be false like this and I can remove also by default the this is false or we can leave it like this I can remove reference also because no need of this reference here because it's work without a reference now you see that when I disable this legacy mode here camera is coming but because I am using my webcam that's why it's not showing here the webcam image but how we can enable that I am going to make some setting here if it is work I say facing mode equal to and I pass here user and I save this and I try to check you see now camera is coming so this camera is from the laptop and if I say in place of user I say environment like this and save this so that means my camera that I'm using external camera that will come here but external camera is busy for recording that's why it would not show here so that's why I want to use my laptop camera so I pass here user mode should be user that means it's by default a laptop camera I want to use here for a scanning purpose so when I I have this one now I just click image from the mobile phone like this and I have this image in front of this mobile phone like this and this value will be scanned by this and result will display here that I want to show so how we can do this we go to coding here now after this you know I am passing a uh, function here file error and file scan so in place of this I want to pass another function and I say here web error and web scan means webcam webcam scan and webcam error now I create these function so in place of this I create this function here and I change the name to webcam error and here webcam scan 
save this now i want to display result in a webcam variable so i copy this state variable and i change it to webcam result and set webcam result like this save this and in place of file i change this to set webcam like this and i pass here the result at the end and i say the result will display here the result is webcam result like this i display this here save this now you see that coding is ready and now again i want to create a one qr code so i say http and i say yahoo.com slash abc i generate this qr code is here again i take this in my mobile phone so we took the picture now i just turn this qr code in front of camera and you see and it automatically scan the result and result is coming here you see yahoo.com slash abc you can match so it is also working for webcam also and it is working for qr code also and everything is working fine that's all in this video in next video we will see how we can optimize this because in this react program i use only one component but in professional application we have to make several components also so in next video we will see how we can make other components to make this application modular application type of code because here i'm using only one component and within a one component i'm using all the code but that is not a professional way so how we can make it more optimized and how we can use more components also like we do in professional application in software development so we will convert it into modular programming approach and so in next video i will use modular programming approach and i will divide this program in number of more components so how we can do this we will see in next video if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video